In this video, I want to go over some of the more in-depth capabilities of VinSim in terms of units that you'll define for variables in your models. So as we've seen before, under model settings for any model, uh, under units for time, you have a number of different options. Um, for this bacterial model, I'll choose minute as my, um, my unit for time, but I have all these other options here as well. So I choose minute, and I'm going to get back to model settings later because you might notice there's this tab that we've ignored so far called units equiv. So like I said, we'll get back to that, but remember that's there because again, we'll come back there. So I've got our bacterial model here. So this is your standard sort of population model with uh, a birth and a death process here. Uh, so we've got our reinforcing loop and a balancing loop, so we should get sort of S-shaped growth out of this thing. So if I go to equations and I click on some of these parameters, average time until reproduction, um, I wanted to find units for this. And so we've already seen a little of this so, so far. So far, if I click on the little selection box next to units, I might be given two options. DMNL is short for dimensionless, which is kind of the default unit. And this is kind of blank here. Um, otherwise, I get whatever my unit is that I chose for time. So I could select minute for this, and then I could have also typed that in. I can also then go to average lifetime and do the same exercise. So I could either select minute or I'll type minute. All right, now, what if I forget whether I used a singular name or a plural name? So let's say that, you know, I might have, um, you know, when I typed this in here, um, I typed in minute, but I actually wanted to type, I just forgot that it was in singular, so I typed in minutes instead. Now, if I do that, if I go check units here, um, it, it tells me that the right hand, uh, that, that there's an error. So if I click check, but if I also click check units here, it also sort of tells me there's an error. But really what this is saying here is that for a constant, there's just not really any way it can tell you if the units are correct or not, because it's a constant. And so um, the goal of clicking check units is really to make sure that this box matches this box up here. But, um, but for a constant, this box is kind of always going to match. So me typing minutes there, there's no way for it to tell that I've sort of made this mismatch. Uh, so, um, but if I were to go up and uh, go into model and then settings and go into this units equiv, um, I can see that it's actually defined synonyms for different types of units. And so, for example, there's already a, a mapping defined for month and months, the singular and the plural, to be synonyms for each other. So when it does the unit check, you can use either month or months, and it understands they're the exact same unit. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a synonym pair for minute and minutes but I can add that. I just go down to this line and I type in minute, minutes. And if I wanted to, as you can see here, here um, under dollar, so here they've got dollar comma dollar comma dollars comma dollar sign s. So uh, here person comma people comma persons. So I could define um, other things like I could type min, uh, you know, or you could come up with um, other sorts of abbreviations that uh, you might think you might want to use as a synonym. And then I can click Add Editing. I know it's a weird um, choice of words that they choose for these buttons, but yeah, this is how you add things there. And then it'll add it um, in the list here. And if you can actually modify those as well. So I could go here and I'd say, all right, I want to edit this thing. And then I can, again, do my Add Editing and then get that back. So if I click OK here and uh, then uh, this average lifetime I'm going to leave as minutes, and this average uh, time retail production I'll leave as minute. And we'll see that it won't generate an issue later on. Now we have to define units for bacteria. Now there are no units already defined for bacteria. It shows my minute and minutes because I've used those before in this model. So as I start using more units, then I'll get more things in this drop down. So I need to create something here. So um, I could type in, let's say I do bacter here. So I'm going to call that my unit for bacteria. And I'll go into my births and I'll say, I want these to be bacters per.
per minute because that's the rate because this is like you know the factor and this is minutes and so uh, if I click OK it's going to be OK with that uh, but if I click check units it says there's a mismatch it says the right and left hand side units mismatch and I, you can't read this here but it's 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 going to try to fix my units based on its best guess of what might have gone wrong if it was just a minor error and so um, it, it unfortunately in this version of Vincent at least on the Mac this prompt doesn't wrap and so you can't see but it's what it's really trying to say is would you like me to replace backters per minute with bacter per minute because it can see that bacteria has already been specified in units of bacter and it knows that average time until reproduction is, is specified in minutes and so it knows that it can replace those. If I were to hit yes here, it's going to fix that. It'll change this to bacter and bacters per minute and, um, and that fixes the problem. But maybe I don't want to have to remember to always use the singular form. So I can leave this in the plural form. So I'll click OK there. Go up to my model, and then under settings, and then under the units equiv under settings, so it's this tab over here. If I type bacter, bacters, and I could also maybe type in something else, bacteria. If I then add those, add them to the bottom of the list here. Um, and the reason it's sorted this way is it, it, um, it happens to put capital letters before lowercase letters. And so that's why even though this is a B, it was at sort of the bottom of this list. If I click OK there, now if I go into births, um, if I click check units here, then down here, notice it says units OK. So even though bacteria is in units of bacter and births is in units of bacters per minute, it knows that a bacter and a bacters are synonyms for the same unit and it can ignore those differences now if I were to put something else here like if I were to put uh, you know um, germs and then were to click check units um, it's gonna say there's a problem and it's gonna then try to make a replacement and it replaced it with bacter because that's the unit of bacteria I'll put bacters just because I like the way that sounds better and check my units and it's okay with that so then I can go to deaths and then I can also then uh, I can actually select and it, again even if they're you know incorrect units germ per minute because I typed it in it adds it to the list if I can find one that uh, bacters per minute that's the one I want to put there hit check units to make sure and that looks good too all right so now that I've done all of that I can go up to model units check and it says all of my units are okay throughout the whole model so I haven't left anything out and uh, if I were to um, simulate this, um, then if I were to look at, say, a graph, so I'll click on bacteria, generate a graph, then I can see that it put bacteria in units of bacter. If I were to click on, say, births and do a graph, it puts that in terms of bacter per minute and deaths, and I click on the graph, and it would also put that in units of bacter per minute. And so even though I actually typed them in as bacters, plural, um, because it knows that bacter and bacters are equivalent, then it has made the choice to substitute it for the other form, which is bacter, um, which is fine. And so that is, unfortunately, that is a about the limit to the interesting things you can do with units inside VinSim, inside programs like Insight Maker, you can do more sophisticated unit level conversions. Um, but uh, the pros and cons of that is in Insight Maker, it's actually much more um, it's it's much more tedious to specify lots of different synonyms for the same unit whereas it's relatively easy inside VinSim to just give a long list of synonyms. But if you wanted to do something like say, well, I, um, there's some unit for bacteria that they use in the United Kingdom that is a different unit. So maybe they use the term germ over there and one germ is equal to 15 bacteria. 
Well, that conversion would have to be done with an explicit formula that you would build inside your model. You couldn't uh, just go into uh, you know, the bacteria stock and um, I couldn't just go into the bacteria stock and just say, well, I want to specify my initial value in terms of germs and have you automatically convert to Bactors. In, that, in Insight Maker, you can do that, but in Vinsim, you're really stuck with just whatever these units are. All right, so this quick review, model, settings, and then this cool units equiv tab allows you to specify synonyms. And those synonyms are going to be really important in this whole case of singular and plurals. And uh, remember that minute, even though hour and day and month um, and week and year have all have their synonym in there, um, by default, minute and minutes, at least in my version, um, do not uh, actually have their singular plural synonym predefined. So if you're going to use minute as your unit of time, you should probably go in and manually add that. And if that really gets annoying for you to add it every time, you can actually say, uh, replace these, um, uh, you know, so you notice down here, they say replace these with the new model default synonyms or make the synonyms the new model default synonyms. So if I were to click on this button here, which I'm not going to do, and I'm not saying that you should do, but if you find yourself always adding the same pair here, you can actually end up making it the default for all of your models. All right. So that's all we have here. Um, uh, I mentioned Insight Maker, and I'll record a similar video for Insight Maker, which will go over um, the more complex unit conversions that Insight Maker can do that Vincent cannot.